Christina Quattrochi. And I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us. Charges have been filed against two men allegedly involved in a battery case at Clinton Prairie High School. News 18's Holly Campbell joins us now with more on what charges the two men face. Holly. Jeff, Gina, 19-year-old Kyle Johnson and 18-year-old Austin Martin face three felony charges of criminal confinement and three misdemeanor counts of battery. The charges stem from an Indiana State Police investigation into three separate incidents that allegedly happened in the locker room after a physical education class. According to the prosecutor's probable cause affidavit, the 15-year-old victim told police Martin would make comments to Johnson about sticking fingers up the victim's rear end. The victim told police the two men would tickle him, hold him down, and grab his rear end and pin him against lockers. Two witnesses interviewed by police said they saw Martin hold the victim down while Kyle Johnson inserted his fingers in the victim's rear end. However, the victim did not tell police that. Superintendent Chris Sampson told News 18 last month there was no evidence of inappropriate touching. Initially, Sergeant Kim Riley says it was under investigation as a sexual battery case. Attorneys representing the two men say from what their clients have told them, this was not sexual battery. Initially, there were overtones uh, of a sexual nature to the complaint uh, because witnesses uh, had recounted that there was taunting that accompanied uh, these batteries in the confinement. Uh, that was a, a taunt that was threatening to insert a finger uh, in the victim's anus. I talked with uh, Kyle as to what happened uh, very briefly, and I would think that to a layman's term, but yes, his version would be that this was horseplay. Bullying is a, is a hot topic nowadays, and so everyone wants to know what's going on. Um, do I think it rises to that? No, and I, I think hopefully the evidence will eventually show that. According to Clinton Prairie School Corporation's website, Martin is a scholar athlete. Both men played football for the high school, and Martin was the captain of the basketball team. Martin's attorney says the school is in the process of expelling him. Johnson's attorney says he does not know his client's status. Prosecutor Summer says witnesses reported seeing the incidents on social media sites, including Snapchat and Instagram. Holly Campbell, News 18. All right, Holly, thank you. We are learning more details.